want to create? Have you thought about that? Think about that right now, because I'm actually going to walk you through a little exercise. One thing that you would really love to manifest in your life that does feel in alignment with your highest excitement. Like when you think about it, you're like, yes, I want to do that. Yes, I want to have that. One thing. Take a moment because I'm going to attune you to it. So like make it good. It's, it's not your, your next meal. It's not your, um, maybe even, well, it could be, it could be more money, a better, a better job. I mean, that's good too, but like try to think for a moment, like what you really want, what you want to create, tap into the creator within you. And when you have it, be with it for a moment. Think about it. If you would, if you can, I know it's New Year's Eve, it's kind of busy out there. Shut your eyes for a second. Picture it. If it's a thing, picture yourself interacting with it. If it's a person, just picture yourself in a relationship with that person, the highest version of that relationship. What does that look like? What are you guys doing? If it's a new job, picture that and let that vision be alive. Actually see yourself there because that's how you get to the feeling of it. When you can actually see the person and you're having a conversation in your mind's eye, in your awareness, and you're feeling that, that's how you get to the energy of it. Whatever it is you want to manifest for yourself, that's just one thing. Hook into it. And when you have it, and you've kind of envisioned the interaction, the conversations, what I want you to do is kind of move through the story, move through the film strip of what you were envisioning and pick one image that best represents the thing you want to manifest. If it's a specific person, maybe one image in your mind's eye of that person. If it's someone you haven't met yet, then a picture of what you and that person are doing together. Maybe just holding hands. You don't have to see this person's face, but you're outside. Maybe you're hiding. Just find one still image in the vision of what you want to manifest. And when you have it, what I want you to do is take a Polaroid picture of it in your mind. Remember I Dream of Jeannie? Kind of like that. Just take a picture of it, that one image. Spend a couple of moments just looking at it, like a picture. What this picture is and what this picture can be is a symbol containing all of the energy, all of the instructions, information, of that which you want to manifest. It's a symbol. And with the symbol in your mind's eye, with this picture in your mind's eye, what I want you to do is send your consciousness into it. To send your consciousness into something, all you have to do is think on it deeply until it moves you. And specifically, it moves your heart. Send your awareness into it. See your awareness as an energy, maybe a gold energy, maybe stardust. But your consciousness is actually flowing into this symbol, this picture of what you want to manifest. Continue 
to allow your consciousness to flow into this symbol until it activates. Activates. Now, how do we know when something activates? Well, for me, it's different for everybody. For me, I actually see the symbol start to move a little, vibrate a little bit. Sometimes it will begin to glow, like take on soft, diffused glow. Other times I'll actually clear audiently hear a powering up sign or sound which is my sign that this symbol is now activated. This symbol is now being transmitted to the subconscious, to the universe, which will then return it unto me. Whatever happens on your end, you'll perceive it. It doesn't have to be a huge activation reaction, just something to validate that the intention and the energy has activated it. And when you're done, release it. To release it, just say, thank you, and so it is. Thank you, and so it is. Remembering that gratitude is so very high vibration. It's literally the kiss that we send our intention, our order into the kitchen with. It helps that order get there faster, be received more quickly, and be returned as well. That technique is called conscious or consciousness activation. You can use it for anything. You can use it in meditation to activate symbols, symbols from your life, symbols representing things, symbols that have been given to you, even sets of numbers that you're seeing repeatedly, three, 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 four, four, four. You can take those into a meditation and activate them in order to unpack the energy principle of them in your life. But you can also activate spaces. I use this technique of focus and concentration and energy and intention just flowing out of me to activate certain spaces in my home and other people's homes. Things like portals, openings, so energy can enter or energy can leave. Consciousness activation can be used for a variety of things, but it also can be used for manifestation. That's just a brief sort of walkthrough of the technique. If you spend more time with it, and if when you're activating your symbol, you're also feeling, again, feeling being the secret, you're feeling what it will be like when it is, that's the ticket right there. That's how you manifest very quickly.